hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to connect your website to an api website i'm going to show you step by step how to connect your video website to an api website which will allow you to start making a successful transaction on your portal and also if you don't have this api there's no how your customers we make a successful transaction on your portal so that is why in this video today i'm going to show you step by step on how to go about it i'm also going to show you the website where you can create an account for free and get yourself upgraded as an api user all right now the first thing i'm going to do is to log into my video portal okay to show you where you you enter the api link that will be given to you Okay, so I'm going to enter my uh, VTU portal here. So I'm going to log in. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on the bell icon for more upcoming videos. So I'm going to log into my portal right now. Okay, so here is the dashboard of my portal. All right, so to do that, just click on this menu here, then scroll down. You see API settings. Then here is where you have to enter your API settings, the API link that will be given to you when you create an account with the website I'm going to show you right now. All right, so I'm going to open a new tab right now to show you the website. Okay, you can go to entreTdata com. So this is the entreTdata. data, all right? When you are here, since you don't have an account with them already, so you have to click on create a free account. You create on you click on create free account. All right. So you have to enter your full name, username, email address, full number, transaction pin, referral username, password. But this referral username is optional. You can leave it. Okay. So when you enter this information, you click on register. All right. Then when you click on register, after creating your account, you have to chat them up. Okay. Tell them to upgrade you as an API user and they will ask you your website link and your username, even your email address. So when you give this to them, they will now upgrade you as API member. All right. Now let me log into my own API account to show you how the dashboard looks like. Okay. So I click on merchant login. Alright, so I'm going to enter my login here. Good. So here is my own dashboard. Alright. So if I click here, you see special. Alright. So when they upgrade you as API user, you see special. That means you are an API user all right now for you to get your api link you have to scroll down here go to go to documentation and go to documentation still loading here okay you read this introduction so read it very well on how you can generate your api link okay so you have to go to uh, 60, uh base 64 okay so you have to say this on google all right when you when you open it you have to enter your n30 data username and password like here okay don't give space here then 
after that you now click on generate it will generate an api link then you copy that link when you copy that link you come back here you come back here the cable api you now enter the api here all right you enter your api here then the same thing make sure that you use the same api link for all those ones here unless you want to have a different api for different services okay now i'm going to show you another website where you can get your api link okay so i'm going to open a new tab here then go to gongos.com gongosconcept.com please if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe right now by hitting on the subscribe button below and don't forget to smash on the bell icon for more awesome videos like this one you're watching right now okay so here is the interface of gongo's concept you don't have an account yet right so you have to click on register okay so you click on register they enter your full name your username email address phone number address refer username that one is optional if you have you put it if you don't have you leave it like that then your password you confirm your password then make sure you take this agreement after that you now click on sign up okay so when you sign up you have to verify your email address okay there's a link they will send to your email then you have to verify it after that you now chat them up tell them to upgrade you to an api member okay so when they upgrade you as an api user you have to go to the documentation then you get your api link now let me log into my own to show you where to get your api link so I'll click on sign in i'm going to sign into my own account right now okay so here is my own account all right here is my own account okay please make sure you use the link below the description of this video to create your own account your own gongos concept account it's very important okay so here is my own account all right now to get the api link i'm talking about i have to click this menu here then you go to developers api so you have to copy this api link this one here these uh, are alphanumeric you have to copy them you copy then you come back to your website okay now you paste it cable cable tv iuc cable tv api url okay now the first thing you have to copy in order to know if it is working or not you have to go to wallet because you need to call you need to connect your wallet to uh google's concept api all right so you now choose uh here that says wallet one api you now paste it here if you want to make google's concept as as wallet one api you paste that api you copied then you now write the name for easy recognition do you understand now the same way when you go to data then you do the same thing this is for mtn mtn api key sme you paste it now you now select it you can see google's concept here then there are other ones you can choose all right so we now follow the same method I'm using to show you after that you now click on updates okay now after connecting your wallet if you click your dashboard here you will see that the api is now showing on your dashboard like this one here it's not showing can you see so this is how to connect an api account to your website please if you like this video can you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on the bell icon for more upcoming videos
all right if you have any question please the comment section is there for you drop your question i'll be there to answer your questions and also if you need scripts of this uh, vtu portal you can chat me up i'll give you this script all right so guys thank you very much for watching this video see you on my next tutorial goodbye